It's okay. never too late, you know. Um, oh, eh? coming soon. <laughs> yeah, oh, coming soon. Yeah. Like, anyway, you know, like DJ is going to do like one man guitar, <laughs> so he's going to try be like the next no, actually, Samido. Actually, my favorite instrument is uh -huh. the, sax, the sax. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. So soon, soon, so soon. soon. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Femi Leye is one of the most talented acts to come out of Lagos, Nigeria. An incredibly talented musician, singer, songwriter, producer, and he is most mostly known for his uh, skill on the guitar. Well, he's worked with some of the greatest to ever live on this continent, from Yosundor to Anjali Kijo to Gosh, then Akon. Yeah. The names just don't end. And I don't know if you have a, um, a preference to working only with legends and icons, but the list is very impressive. I, I'm, I'm blessed. You are very I'm blessed. blessed. So blessed. we're talking about Salif Keita. Who can even say that? The, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> so your son, Dor, Adili, um, Anjali Kidjo, yeah. Salif Keita, Akon, Don Jazzy. Yeah. Okay, Tio Savage, Ricardo Banks, Adekunle Gold, yeah. Johnny Drille, um, Rick Hassani, and the names just go on and on and on and on and on. Now that you're saying it, wow. It sounds so, right? I've done so much. You've done so much. <laughs> You've done so much. I don't even think about it. I just make the records and just move on. But on it has been over a decade. Oh yeah, two decades actually. And how did this journey begin? Well, obviously, you know, everybody would say I started music from my mother's home. It didn't happen for me like that. I just loved the sound of the guitar and various instruments. But I didn't start playing the guitar until, like, I think 2001. My first instrument was in 1992 or 1993. That was the drums. And I just started picking up the instrument one by one and I ended up with the guitar. I just loved it. And that was how the music started. You know, I went to school to be a scientist and I couldn't just concentrate in class because it was just, I'll be hearing this notes and this sound in my he, you know, my head and I just want to get it out, you know. So I'll go for classes, I'll sit down and the lecturer is going on and on. I'm like, do we mean class? Oh, I so oh do we mean <laughs> 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 You know, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, you know, so I, I, knew, I, I knew at that point that, yo, I was going to be a musician. Music wow. was. Obviously I had to go to school, you know, yeah. because African parents, you know. Yeah. <laughs> do you wish that you studied music? No. Okay. No, because um, I'm completely self-thought. I, I know, obviously, I would have learned some things that would have been cool, but I, I would have been pigeonholed, uh, and my imagination would have r like been running wild the way it is right now. So, because I, once I hear a sound, I can replicate and just play it. But if you are like in the music school, they will tell you to do classical, mm. and you're like very confined to like music done like in the 1800s, and I don't want to really listen to that. I want to make the music of now. Yeah, so because they will influence uh, what it is that you yeah, should Yeah, influence produce. what you So I, I had a blank canvas to be myself. Mm. So it was a perfect way to just start off. No expectations. Nothing Everyone is hoping all. that you're going to be something else and you're yeah. like, surprise, <laughs> I want to do music. <laughs> I you said you picked your first instrument, meaning yeah. that you know how to play more than one? I play eight, actually. Eight of them? Yeah. Which one, which one, uh, and which one? Piano, guitars, uh, bass, drums, different traditional percussions. The, the list is endless for the percussions because I do a lot of percussion. I actually started with that. So at the end of the day, everything like boils down to like eight. Or even nine, I don't even know, I'm not sure. But I know when I see it, I would know how to play it. Oh, they're just that many? Yeah, they're that many. But, oh, so and also, I, the, the way I play the guitar, let's just say you dumb it down to like 60%, that's how I know how to play the different instruments. So mm. like my, the guitar skill is like high, just in heaven. Yeah. And then every other thing is like, good enough to be able to create music and produce, because I produce everything I do also. Was the guitar love for you like a natural relationship? Or? Yes, it was. It was like uh, a marriage that was waiting to happen. Because I remember when I was a teenager, I would be walking on the street and I would be playing air guitar. And people would be looking at me like, something wrong with this boy. You Wait, know, like as you're, as like you're walking? Just, just like this. Imagining. Imagining. And you don't know how to play the I guitar at the, the time. time. I had no idea. And you could just imagine, oh, you know, if Plain. I played this and this key I could even would imagine good. the stage. I could imagine the crowd. You know, I, I remember the first time I played to like 10,000 people, I, I, I almost cried. I was like, what? From that to this, like, it's incredible. It's ridiculous from yeah. like playing randomly in the yeah. streets with and an imaginary my dad in guitar. The house with my mom. Yeah. Which event was that? Um, um, I, I think it was, in, it was in America. I uh, a show in New York. A show in New York I did. I think it was me and Adi Kunle Gold. I can't remember, it's 2019, but yeah, it was, it was a big crowd and oh, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I, I think I, I have never found a bigger fan of Adekunle Gold oh, than amazing. myself. Oh, he's amazing. Oh, even you're a fan. I'm a, I'm I a friend and I'm a fan. Oh, both of them. Yeah, because I, I was on, I, I actually recorded on the song Hi 
with him and David. I just yeah. want to be yeah. here. And everything from his first album to his current project, I have always recorded. Wait, what were you recording guitars. on that jam? Guitars. Oh, guitars. Yeah. guitars. Like, yeah, the dope songs. Like, he just calls me, yo, bro, Alpha. There's a song. Okay, I'm going to the studio. Oh, how far is the song? I thought like how far is high. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. How far? Like that's like what song? Oh, how far high? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Uh, that's the Nigerian like the song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, high actually, it was in America when he reached out to me and he was like, yo, he has a song. He didn't even tell me that it was going to be Davido because there was no vocal Davido vocal on it. And I recorded, and then before I knew it, months later, it became like the biggest hit in like the world. Did yeah. you know that was the song you worked on? Yeah, I knew. I knew. Yeah, he oh, told okay. me. Yeah. So, but obviously, everybody has like confidentiality agreements and stuff like that. So you yeah. don't say anything yeah. until it comes out. You know? yeah. Same thing with um, Finesse. Finesse, I was not on the original track, but then he did a live version and he invited me to like come through and then we did something yeah. amazing. Yeah, so. That is wonderful, yeah, uh, really cool. Finesse. Yeah. Uh, if we work, no more business. Yeah. 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 You know, Amazon people used to say, Happiness. Happiness. It's not happiness. Oh, yeah. Oh, it so people said that even in Lagos. Yeah. Because I thought it was a disease was, here ah, in Kenya. No, 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 even ah, I thought it was happiness. Finesse. No, no, it's and we were like, happy. You almost even changed it to happiness. Because that's became, how many people. Yeah. But then you sing, put it whatever you put on the melody. As long as it works for you, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I didn't like finesse. When I found out it was finesse, I was like, finesse? I'm like, oh. happiness blends so well. <laughs> no. So how did you end up working with Yosundor and Angeline Kijo? Was it all just you coming and doing the live sessions like you did with Adikune? Uh, with uh, Yosundor, it was, uh, I was working with another band called The Boys. They invited mm -hmm. me to Dakar to work on like a project for them. So I was mm -hmm. producing and doing stuff. And they were like, oh, yo, um, Yusundo is working on this album. You know, we'd like you to like do something, probably co-produce and record guitars. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Of course. So we got into the studio and I made the music and then it came later at night and he sat down in the session and he loved the music and that was how it came Johnny at that time. Oh, and then for wow. Angel Kijo it was like just recording from where I was remotely and it was like, Oh yeah, this is the best I heard their vocals obviously, you know, like, oh, this is the person that we're having on the on the track and we want you to work on them. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well that is impressive. And that was the same I imagine with like Angeli Kijo and yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, all else. All, all, almost all of them. But some people I'm in the room with them and some people is just like remotely and then yeah. yeah. It's always cool. It's always cool. The collaboration yeah. is very nice. That yeah. was exactly it. Rora was different because I was in the room also with Ricardo Banks, but yeah. So it works in different ways. Na 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 Okay, <laughs> well, um, he has worked with so very many people, but he is officially, he's officially here in Nairobi. And he had a chance with that, you know, to dance with some of our Maasai guys. And Yes, I did. Yes, that was you fun. did. Let's watch that and then we talk. <laughs> Can we do that? Let's watch this clip oh, of Femi dancing with some Maasai. <laughs> 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 Someone told me to sample that and make a song out of it. I you think should. I, will. I, think I think I will. Should. I think I will. I think you should. I think, I I think it was Billy Eilish's. Was it Doja Cat's brother or Billie Eilish? I'm not Billie sure. Billie Eilish's brother. Right? He samples a lot. You knew. He records everything from on his yes. iPhone and then he just puts it on the track. Yeah. I do, I, yeah, I do the same thing too. Like, it might just be like a Sound of the Rain or like a Click Sound. Or In fact, I have a track on my last album where it was The Cry of a Child that started the track. So, like, you just go crazy when it comes to production. Everything that makes you feel good, you put it on the track. I think it's because you live and breathe music. Yes. So everything you hear, everything you experience, you're yeah. like, how can I, how can I turn this into a song? Yeah. And you said that you've always wanted to dance with the Maasai. Yes, always, always since I was a boy. So it's just you know crazy that I came and we went to the park and I saw them like, I'm doing this. Take my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a chance to see the animals? Yes, all okay. the lions. Oh, Jesus Christ! I was <laughs> monkeys. I was. It was really cool. It was really really cool. <laughs> and I also saw a video of you jamming to a jam that is pretty big here. Oh in yes! Oh my now, God! Yes, yes, go yes, go yes, go yes. Go I heard that that's like a, Do almost we have like the a video? Kenyan national, Kenyan national anthem. <laughs> yeah. Do we have the video? 
All right, great. So let's let's watch this and then we can. Holy cap of Saudi yeah. Soul. Yeah, it was the original guitarist. We I were, didn't we were together know in the studio that. Yesterday. He told me, yeah, he's on my Instagram. He commented on like it was the original. I'm like, what? Okay, okay, okay. I see you, man. Like that's that's amazing because I you, love the song. Do you know what the song is about? I don't know. You don't know? It's like praising God or something like that. It is something about praising God. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, you have a rough idea. You, you, you have a rough better. idea. <laughs> no. So it's about like I only fear God. So oh. Nyashinsky, the artist, when he came back to Kenya because he took a, a, a break right. and he went to like you know search for greener pastures yeah. so he went to the u.s and he did a lot of odd jobs and when he was coming back to kenya he faced a lot of resistance from so many different people in the industry wow. and he was just trying to tell everyone that i just only fear god and god is the one who's gotten me this far yeah. and like i'm still you that's, know just that's, that's thriving now i understand why it's so now beautiful. you get it <laughs> yeah it's a very no, it's one of so those big. songs that no matter what it is whatever stage you are in mm -hmm. your life no matter what it is that you're going through mm -hmm. you always have time for god right yes, so it, it's one of those definitely. things that really just wake you up it it's such a moving so song and you didn't even know the meaning you I, just vibed to i knew it. like it was it had something to do with god and you know praising god and stuff like that being one with god and all that yeah and i just decided to like go for it and just do it and yeah yeah. Any other songs you've listened to from Nairobi, from Kenya? Well, obviously a lot of South is so, but I, you know, I'm still, my Swahili is very, is minimal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but um, thankfully I'm, I'm open to working with a lot of artists and I've started already. I did a couple of collaborations, you know, in my time here, you know, and obviously I want to do more, but mm. yeah. I love the language, I love the accents, the people, you guys are just amazing, man. Amazing. You know, for a long time, we didn't know we had accents. You do, and it's beautiful. Yeah. We didn't know we had accents. We mm. thought we speak like normally. Oh. We thought you have accents. Oh, wow. You who come from Western <laughs> Africa, <laughs> West Africa, sorry. So we, we see a lot of, ah, oh, oh. Whoa, lo, lo, lo. <laughs> you went from us or from you? From you? Yeah, or from, from like us. Europe. Or yeah, from you? From me, from oh, us. yes, yeah. a lot we, of reactions. We, as, we, there's a lot of, uh, punctuations in our, in our language yeah. and then so enunciations, you know, in what we say. So if you say a word, ah, how are you? Oh, and like <laughs> that was like, oh, we really, we're really into it, you know? Yeah. 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 I even love how you tell stories. It's oh, very yeah. juicy. Oh, yeah. It's oh, very juicy. You it's want very to interesting. Listen. You know, ah, 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 you know what happened? What ah, happened? Ah, ah, ah. Eh, uh -huh. yesterday, I saw Sheila. You I saw, saw Sheila. Sheila. Where was market, she? Where was she? You know, she was with that guy. Which you guy? Know, that guy that we said Which one? Know Which one? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. And they exaggerate the story until you're it makes so you sweet. It is. They add salt. They had. They add the uh, Scotch bonnet. <laughs> so I went to Lagos and I love chili and I love spice. And then I went to Lagos and I was like, oh, you I love don't. Chili and spice. I'm telling you. you, I thought I did. Oh, and then okay. I got to Lagos and I was like, oh. I actually don't like chili and I don't like spice. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what this is. <laughs> and it was in 90% of the food. Yeah. It's love ridiculous. We love pepper. So when I got here, that was like, ah, there's not enough pepper. So I had to like buy chili and just, you know, put stuff together and just eat. Scotch bonnet is really hot though. It's not that hot. It is so hot, bro. Hot. Don't lie. I like when I'm you're crying. crying. Oh, yeah. as you're eating. I'm, oh my God, I'm so happy. That's my happy place. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> So you said you were with Polycarp in the studio. What, yeah. what are you working on together? Um, so finally, obviously, we've been friends for a while, but finally we met, mm -hmm. you know, in the studio, and it was so cool. Such an amazing human he being. Is. And such gave me such a warm welcome, and we, I was able to jump on, just you know, a track or two of his that you know he's done. You know, obviously more collaborations coming in the future. But yeah, I was able to do, and I also did something with Antonio. So. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, that's nice. also something very cool. So okay. I didn't just come here to just be looking at you before I started working with the artists. And you cry know. when you're eating food. <laughs> 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 there was a lot more planned. Your <laughs> guitar has an African shape. Yes. Uh, other than the love for your continent, mm. why else? So uh, yeah, I'm signed to the company of the guitar, you know. So basically it's called Instruments of Africa and the guitar obviously is in the shape of Africa. And for for us is like this is the time for us to like really embrace our identity as Africans. You know, so you have Lagos, you have Nairobi, you have Accra, you have Kigali and so many other cities across Africa. So I'm the first uh, brand ambassador and the guitar sounds amazing. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring it here tonight, but it's an am amazing instrument. And so we came here with Nairobi just to give Nairobi to people in Nairobi. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. really cool. That was actually recorded Mungu Peke with Nairobi. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. long have you been in Nairobi um, right now? Monday morning. Oh, Monday. Oh, so it's just this week. Yeah, just, oh, it's just so how so long are you here for? I leave in a couple of hours. 
in a couple of hours. So in the morning, this I'm is your leaving, last. Like, I'm leaving from here. To the interview. Airport. Yes. Until next time you come. Until next time, um, believe me, I'm coming back very soon. Because yeah. the, oh my God, you guys are so amazing, and I love it. I love it here. Yeah. Well, except for the cold, but you know. The I cold is I just I now. I Honestly, I can work with that. Honestly, I the cold <laughs> is just this. This period. this period yeah and we've never had it this cold wow even we're shocked wow it could have serious? snowed like as far as we're concerned Honestly, it was snowing. that's it was like how cold it was 12 was. degrees and stuff you know, it yeah. it's something that we're not used to it's something we're not but used it's, to. It's, it's, kenya is a really cool place to be uh definitely i'm coming back yeah I'm and the back. people are great right oh yes the very, food very how's the food Do you, have you gone to like some nigerian joints are they lying to us no, is the food authentic? It was good. Okay. I, I went to, I, think, I went to like a Nigerian restaurant and a Ghanaian restaurant, and it was really good. And they were not lying. They were not lying. Best jollof. Jollof was okay. Obviously, okay. to have best jollof, you have to come to Nigeria. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> don't let us start this war. <laughs> All of us know in not Africa <laughs> that Nigeria has the best jollof. I don't want to hear. Me. <laughs> it's Ghana or they're Senegal. Lying. Everybody just want to owe themselves so it's Nigeria. Okay? okay? They're lying. They're lying. Okay. <laughs> we, mentioned, we were talking about Rora. Yeah. Rora ended up becoming one of the biggest songs oh, yes. on the continent. As you know right I now, I have Afro a very strong habit of over. being on hit records. But, but you didn't know they were going I to I didn't know, records. but you know, I just, you know, it works, God works in mysterious so ways. So explain to me. So you're with Ricardo Banks. You're in studio. You're yeah. chilling. You're vibing. Did he play you, Rora? Like, how did your involvement come so about? So, they, they had the song already. It was already recorded. But they felt like something was missing. Mm -hmm. So, they started searching for me. They called me, like, three days beforehand. And I went to the studio. We got there. They played me the record. I was like, okay, there's still some things you need to put in the record. So, I recorded, like, some guitars, you know. And then, you know, after recording, I just decided to just do my verse, which was the part that I ended up on the record. Just do, I just played it once from top to bottom. And that was exactly what became what it became. So I was writing as I was recording. I was writing the melody and I recorded it. And I didn't know it was going to be huge. It was because when the visualizer came out and like there was a little cartoon of me just trying to imitate the guitar, I was like, okay, this is cool, this is cute. Yeah. And then it became like the number one record everywhere and it's just crazy. Yeah. But we performed it together once. Mm. On stage, just but you know, for you being, um, you know, someone who plays in the background, so to speak. No, I'm actually an artist. No, I'm talking about like okay, jams like where in most of okay, the okay, time okay. you're playing okay. in the background. Mm. How, I mean, because these are two different worlds. Yeah, you they being are. the musician yeah. and you being in the background. Which yeah. one do you prefer more I, I and prefer why? Being, I prefer being a superstar like that I am. Oh, okay. I, I, have, I have a band, like, I have a band that backs me up back at home. Yeah. Uh, but doing sessions is collaboration for most of the time, especially what happened with Rora. Like, serious magic comes out of working with different artists because mm. it takes me out of my sound and puts me in their world, you know. So, and it also keeps me on my toes as a uh, creator. Yeah. So I can do my stuff, it's easy for me to do my thing, but you know, if I'm working with like, I don't know, anybody in the industry, their sound, I have to be in their world, I have to be in their mental states. Rora was like that. I had to realize you, what he was talking about. You had to be Ricardo for a minute. And be Ricardo for a minute and yeah. just record that way. And it, the same with Adekunle Gold and every other person that I have yeah. worked with in the industry. Yeah. Which was your most, you know that moment where you were very humbled as to who you were working with, what you were working on, or whatever it is that it ended up being. Just the whole experience of recording, producing, and being a part of this project. Mm -hmm. what, what was that one time you look back and you cannot believe that you were a part of that project? It's still you soon though. Okay. Nobody has topped it. Yeah. I've, and I've worked with some dope people in I my can life. see. The list well, because is Because I've, I've been a fan since I was a boy. You know, so being in the studio with him was just mind blowing. And the fact that he was just so humble and so welcoming to me, it was really cool. So till now I still pinch myself like, you work with that guy, like it's, it's insane. Mm. But I'm looking forward to the future and you know, working with a lot of more people. So yeah, I'm open to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wish you all the best. Thank I'm so, so happy to, you know, finally get to meet you, Femi. You so Your birthday is coming up. Yeah, September next month 7th. 7th. Yeah. My best best friend in the whole world. She's a Virgo. Are you serious? And we are I, 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 immediately I knew your birthday is on 7th of September. Yeah. I knew the kind of person you were. Oh. You're industrious, <laughs> humble, yeah. hardworking, oh. independent. Like, I just know it from the top of my head because I, wow. I know my BFF. You just, you just put me out there. That's yes. me. Oh Secretive. my God. <laughs> You take time oh, yes. before making decisions. Oh, You're very calculative. Very, very. Right? Like, you can have a lot of friends, but no one really knows who you are, who you are, 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 and no private things about you. Am I lying? Why are you putting me out there like that? I know her. I Guys, know I'm her. Sorry. Do you have any plans? Do you have any plans? Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm working on my third album right now. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I 
actually have a show on the 17th of September in Lagos, a big concert that I'm planning towards. So definitely that, and also collaboration with a lot of artists. Uh, people are really sending songs right now. I want mm. me to be in the studio. So I have to like really, really get into that space and just start working with people. And then obviously finish off the album so that I can release it probably sometime next year. Yeah. And then I'll come back, obviously I'll come back here before then, but come back to Kenya and obviously do a couple of shows here because I just love it. Yeah. This is, it's a this great place, right? You place in Africa. My honestly. favorite place is Lagos. Are you serious? I swear to God. I, love Kenya. I promise. Oh, I lie. I love Kenya. The, I, the I people were too nice. The experience was amazing. We are nice people. We are nice people. It was and we are really very, good. we are very nice. We yeah. are very welcoming. I, I, I understand why women in Kenya fall for men in Nigeria, though, because they're very open. Kenya they're very men, forward. We are sorry. They're very <laughs> romantic. I'm like, sir, I'm married. He doesn't <laughs> care. He wants to buy me a building. I'm like, sir, just. Just, it was an amazing time, though. Amazing time, and I hope you enjoyed yourself here yes, in Nairobi. Yes, I You're leaving yes, I in the next two hours, two I understand. Hours, yeah, I'm being yeah. told, Amina, <laughs> cut the interview. He needs to go yeah. to the airport right now. Femi, it was a pleasure to meet you. you. What so do you have much. to say to your fans from Kenya? Thank you so much for supporting me. Please listen to my music. It's Femle everywhere. Honestly, I promise you, it's music that you have never heard before. I heard that tonight. Like, oh, it sounded so different. Different is good because, you know, it it's, it's tasty. Yes. It's spicy. Yes. And you need some spice in your life. So listen to Femle. You Thank need you. some spice. Asante sana. Asante Thank you. sana. Wambi kwa heri. Ah, that's great. Wambi kwa heri. Kwa heri is goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, okay. goodbye. All right. All right. So now um, we have Jaziki. I can't wait to talk to Nick. Uh, his entire squad is uh, is <laughs> is his entire squad is here. Um, I can't wait to talk to them. Um, they are one, two. Oh, I can't believe I'm counting Osoro and. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I was counting Osoro and DJ E. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, so Femi, yeah. I, uh, well, how do you say goodbye? Odabo. 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 Odabo? Odabo. I did it. Odabo. Odabo. Thank you so much, guys. Adobo. Thank you, thank you. No, no, you don't have to actually leave. You can just.